and it's you. Your steps are out. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Nice to meet you, man. I watch your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Line screw one. Line screw one. Line screw one. And Drew? <laughs> yeah, show your face. <laughs> nice little Class C Ford E350 chassis. With our friend Line Screw One. And we're keeping our wheels in the ground. He is keeping his wheels on the ground. Yep, um, all six of them. How he does it, I don't know. I mean, it's called gravity. Apparently, there's also some creepy, weird guy. He likes to screw lines or something like that. He lives out here in Langley. Or is it Line Screw? What are you talking about with Line Screw? Thanks for nothing, dude. There's another pant load. <laughs> Mr. Line Screw. Line screw one. We're the RV geeks here in Vancouver. Stop, Stop watching line screw one. For line screw one. And line screw one is a most uh, excellent host. We are waiting for line screw one to give us a ringy ding. You understand me? Just stay out of my face. Don't get freaking way in there like you like to do, you freaking Canadian. That's what you guys always like to do. Hey there, we got line screw with a line screw one with us today. This is Carpenter with RV Crazy, and I am here with line screw one. A. Well, it's a really not our pleasure. Line screw is not our pleasure to meet you up in Washington for years. A line screw one sticker. Oh yeah. What does it say? It says, keep your wheels on the ground. Stay safe out there. Keep your wheels on the ground. Keep your wheels on the ground. It's like his little slogan. He says, keep your wheels on the ground. <laughs> I should have a slogan like that, eh? But I don't know what it, I don't know. He's clever like that. He's a clever bugger. And uh, Marshall, what do you think of meeting uh, Line Screw One? It's an honor and pleasure to meet Line Screw One. Keep your wheels on the ground. Hey, tubers, remember to keep your wheels on the ground because when you don't, make sure you have a camera because that's going to be some pretty funny stuff. I'm not a botanist or a biologist. I'm just a simple guy living in an RV. And just like in outer space, rarely in your RV can anybody ever hear you scream.